Welcome to Watch Guard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I cover March Patch Day. As I'm sure you're well aware if you follow security, the second Tuesday of the month is both Adobe and Microsoft's Patch Day. Now I skipped it yesterday to cover the AMD flaws, but as promised, let's talk about Patch Day today. I'll keep it very quick and high level. So first, starting with Microsoft, Microsoft released a ton of updates for all of their major products, many versions of Windows, Internet Explorer and Edge, their Office products, even the Exchange server, as well as Adobe Flash, which ships with some Microsoft products as well. Now, this fixes over 70-ish different vulnerabilities in a number of different products. None of the Windows vulnerabilities are rated critical, although some are rated important, so you definitely want to uh, apply those patches. However, some of the browser, both Internet Explorer and Edge vulnerabilities, are critical. So I recommend you start by updating your browsers first. On top of that, do know some of these updates do continue to fix the Meltdown Inspector vulnerabilities I've talked about in the past. Now, I'm not going to go into any of these vulnerabilities in any detail. There's a number of them. I highly recommend you apply all the necessary patches, though, starting with the critical ones and working your way down. I will share one other note about today's Microsoft Patch Day, and that's that Microsoft has pulled back the required AV check before some of their patches. After the Spectre and Meltdown issue, some of their patches were not working properly when certain AV was installed. So they had this check to make sure you didn't have a certain AV before you apply the patches. Well, apparently this month they've revoked all those checks and now anyone can apply the patches. One other note is that with Spectre and Meltdown patches, some of the software changes might be significant. So I highly recommend you test some of these patches before deploying them to important production servers. Now on top of that, Adobe also released their patches on Tuesday. I think they fixed seven different FOSS in three products. The most important one is Adobe Flash where they fixed some very very serious flaws, which explains why Microsoft patched Flash as well, as well as fixing vulnerabilities in Adobe Connect, which I don't think as many people use, and their Dreamweaver product, which only web developers probably use. In any case, Adobe Flash is relatively widespread, so if you use that, I highly recommend you install Adobe's update immediately or let its auto-update mechanism do its job. Anyways, that summarizes patch day. By the way, ever since Microsoft changed the way they report these vulnerabilities, I really think it's actually a pain in the butt to parse their info. So I recommend you check out GHack's monthly patch summary. You probably see it in the reference section associated with these patching videos. In any case, that GHack summary is probably the best Microsoft patch day summary that I've seen written today. So check it out. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching. Oh, 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 oh,